Hey everyone, it's Siobhan. Um, today I went to see the Game of Thrones exhibition here in New York City. It was the final day. I actually went on the opening day and luckily somehow got in because the line was crazy. And I tried last Saturday again with another friend and seriously it went like down the avenue and like around the block. It was crazy. There was almost no way that we would have been able to get in. So I woke up super early because I knew it was the final day and um, I was able to get in. No problem. It was awesome. And I took a bunch of pictures and I also took some video and I thought, hey, why not share it um, for those of you who might not be able to see the exhibition. I think the next cities that it's going to are um, Brazil, I'm not sure what city in Brazil. <laughs> um, it's going to Amsterdam and then it's going back to Belfast, which I guess is where they, obviously they film a lot of the show, so makes sense that it would end there. Um, yeah, it was just really, really awesome and I had so much fun. So uh, I hope you guys like the rest of my video. The exhibition was held on 57th Street between 6th and 7th Avenues here in Manhattan. And it was really, really awesome how they did up the outside of the building. When my husband and I saw the Stark Shield, we got really excited because we actually just ordered a replica from ValerianSteel.com. We were really impressed by the props. Um, this is Gendry's bullhead helm, and then of course Ice, which was huge. And then we saw Longclaw, and that's really cool because we're both huge fans of Jon Snow. These are some of the weapons from the Dorthraki people. And in the corner of the next picture, you will see Robert Baratheon's Warhammer, which is pretty badass. And of course, the Hound's Helm. I was also impressed by how big that was. All along the exhibit, there were these wonderful posters, um, just sort of like brief explanations of each of the houses and like where they come from and who the family members are. I thought they were great, so I took a lot of pictures of them as well, as, as you can see from this video.
pictures of the costumes with and without flash, but I noticed that when I used the flash, it was a little bit easier to see some of the colors, um, particularly Catelyn's cloak. It was so pretty. And you can also kind of see some of the dirt and muck that they rubbed into the material to make them look as though they've been worn for a while, which of course is so awesome. And then, yeah, I took a picture in front of the Starks with my little girl. It is a weapon. No, there's a woman here who's like dressed up. I can't even tell you how cool it was to see all of these things in real life, um, to kind of reach out and almost be able to touch them. It was amazing. I'm really, really psyched that HBO was able to do this. Um, in the next picture, you'll see, um, yeah, this is the model for the dragons in season three. It was pretty big. And her costumes are really, really nice. Like this one actually has a lot of blues in it that I hadn't noticed before. When you watch actors or actresses on TV, you don't always get like a sense of how tall or how small they actually are, but Amelia Clark is so tiny. Um, these are her shoes. We loved them. And then my girlfriend and I couldn't resist. We had to have a picture in front of um, her costumes. I am kind of wonders. Yeah, I got my photo. Actually, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm ATT. Yeah. Seeing the letter from Theon to Rob uh, made me just as sad as it did um, when I was watching that episode. <laughs> I'm kind of a dork. Um, in the next picture, you will see Robert and Renly's crowns, which are really, really nice. I don't think my picture did them justice. And this is Renly's breastplate. 
this was really cool to see. This is the letter from Ned Stark to Stannis, letting him know about uh, the Lannisters and the incest. And in the next picture, you'll see concept art for the scene during which Melisandre gives birth to the magic that actually kills Renly. These were some of my favorite costumes of the day, and I think the reason for it was because they actually smell. Um, I was able to get pretty close, and you don't have to get very close actually to smell the smell. It's very musty and sort of dank, and um, yeah, they just kind of smell like they've been worn for a while, which is really, um, I guess, authentic to the characters. This is the mask that belongs to the Lord of Bones, but what I really liked in this display case in particular was um, Ygritte's boots. Um, the bottom of them, I was calling them reindeer cleats. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go, you can see what I mean. In the next picture, you'll see Tyrion's lion ring. I actually haven't noticed him wearing it on the show. I think there are just so many small and wonderful details that when you get swept up into the story, you sometimes miss things. Um, this is Joffrey's crown, which is actually pretty small. And in the next picture, you'll see one of Tyrion's books. I thought like the attention to detail was pretty amazing. And of course, Cersei's lion pendant necklace, which I like freaked out about because I'm a big fan of Cersei.
the most detailed costumes definitely belong to House Lannister, and it might be because of all of the armor. Um, in particular, I couldn't stop looking at Tywin Lannister's breastplate and the lions on his shoulders and elbows. And if you look closely at his gloves, you can even see that they have these really tiny, tiny little designs etched into the metal, and they're just so, so beautiful. This is really cool. This is a sketch um, from Tyrion to Bran of the saddle um, that he designs for him in season one. Despite despising Joffrey in both the novels and the television show, he's very elegantly dressed. Um, his costume is beautiful, as is Cersei's. This is actually the dress that she wears in episode one of season three when she's having her encounter with Tyrion after the Battle of the Blackwater. When season two premiered, we were lucky enough to see some of the costumes in the HBO store here in Manhattan. Um, they were different from the ones that were in this exhibition, but um, it was really cool. I feel like I've seen a few now, and they're all very extraordinarily um, special and beautiful. This is the end of my video. Um, I'll just finish it off with some pictures of us on the Iron Throne. That was really exciting. Uh, I hope you liked the video, and I hope that if you're in a city near the exhibition, you'll get to see it.